For dinner, I am making the juiciest, stickiest, crispiest Peking chicken. I got started on this yesterday. I loosened the skin from the meat to allow some air to get underneath the skin. And then I also dry brined it with kosher salt, black pepper, and some Chinese five spice powder. And then I stuck it in the fridge overnight uncovered so that the seasoning could penetrate the meat and then also allow that skin to dry out so that it gets crispy. To get the chicken ready for the oven, I'm gonna crack open a can of beer. Let's get this party started, right? I'm pouring out one cup of it, which I'll add in later. And I'm setting it in a cast iron skillet. This is going to be sort of a stand for me to put the chicken on so that when it roasts, the heat gets circulated all around and the skin gets crispy. And then it'll also steam the chicken from the inside so that that meat stays juicy while the skin is crisp. I'll roast at 400 degrees for an hour. It won't be fully done cooking at that point, but I'll be ready for some glaze then. My chicken is almost ready to come out of the oven, so I'll whip up the glaze, which is going to give that chicken skin this sweet, sticky, shiny coating. I'll start with three tablespoons of soy sauce, half a cup of hoisin sauce, two tablespoons of honey, which will help to caramelize that exterior, a teaspoon of garlic powder, and one and a half teaspoons of Chinese five spice powder, a tablespoon of oil to add some richness, a teaspoon of toasted sesame oil, and all of these heavy, heavy flavors need some brightness, so I'll squeeze in the juice of half a lime and grate in a teaspoon of fresh ginger for some zing. When I combine this, I'm gonna reserve some of it to add on as a sauce at the end, and the other half will be used to brush the outside of the chicken. Let me check on my bird. Mm. Being careful so it doesn't tip over. That chicken is already crispy on the outside. I'll get my glaze and brush this chicken lavishly all over. Mm, chicken skin is so good. Oh, do you hear that? It sounds crispy. So Peking is actually just another spelling, an older spelling of Beijing. So that's where Peking duck comes from. This looks beautiful. Not holding back with the glaze here. Like it just got back from the beach. Still has some tanning oil on. When this glaze drips down onto the skillet, I don't want it to burn, so I have my reserved cup of beer here that I'll pour right in to prevent the glaze from burning. And it'll also add a bit more moisture right at the end of its cooking time. Okay, carefully back into the oven this goes for another 20 minutes until the internal temperature is 165 degrees and external is so shiny. I'm gonna have to get my sunglasses. This chicken's looking good. I'm gonna wait to carve until right before I serve, but I'm having to take a taste right now because this smell is pulling me in. Mm. Mm -hmm. That is like the queen of chicken skins. It's sweet, it's salty, it's a little chewy, it's crisp. That is a winner of a chicken dinner.